My name is Joel, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how ArcGIS Mobile and Arc Server 931 allow you to create a real-time, dynamic, multi-user distributed GIS. Um, I'm using the Topcon GRS-1, which is a wireless, ruggedized, handheld Windows mobile machine, and uh, which you can see in the foreground. I have it tethered to my laptop. And then in the background, you can see our emergency management application called HazNet. Um, the application running on the mobile is called HazNet Scout. And uh, we're emergency management specialists, mainly because we live on the Gulf Coast, and that's a basic requirement. And um, we work a lot of hurricanes every year, and we also work other uh, exercises and emergencies around the country. And so this application is sort of lessons learned. And ArcGIS Mobile has uh, opened up some doors for us that we've been trying to walk through for a long time. Um, what we can do is we have several tools on the, on the mobile application. So I'm out in the field, and I see something happen, an incident that I need to log. So I'll click on the map, um, record the type of incident. I can upload any type of file. In this case, I'm going to do a picture. Uh, just check everything that's OK. I can add notes or uh, any other type of media. And I'll hit Submit. And that is going to upload to the server as well as to the mobile, as well as to anybody else who's logged into the website and anybody else using a handheld. Okay, So then I can see that on the server. There it is. So uh, I'll do a quick identify on that. So I'm back in the Emergency Operations Center. I can see that there's a civil disturbance incident, and uh, there's an unruly crowd, which is a picture of you guys I took earlier. <laughs> All right, I can also, on the server, I can update that, or I can turn around and create an incident myself. Let's say this, uh, this crowd created a fire. So we'll come in there, put in our notes. and uh, submit that, or I could add files, forms, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, photos, and that appears on the map. And then uh, shortly, we'll do a force refresh here on the mobile app, and it'll pop up on there as well. Let me pull that back up. So the idea is that instead of being a data shovel that goes out and scoops up data and then dumps it back into the GIS for the people with access to the GIS to see, this now becomes an active participant in the, uh, in the decisions being made using the GIS. So there it is. You can see the, the fire incident popped up there, and I can ID it just like I did on the, just like I did on the uh, server app. And this is just scratching the surface. We can all do all sorts of modeling, um, search and rescue grids, and uh, pretty much anything you can do with the GIS is now available on the mobile app. Um, which really expands the ideas and the, and the applications you could do, especially for emergency management, where things are unfolding so quickly that that's how fast the GIS is being created you know, by the minute. Um, so we'll be in the, the TopCon and the NavTech booth all week uh, with some deeper examples of, of this type of capability, and uh, we look forward to talking to you. Joel. Wow, Joel. You've got a minute and a half to so go. You've got, you got a minute and a half.